Hello, I'm Steven, the Teen Services Coordinator with the Dim Springs Walker Branch Library, and welcome back to another STEAM Saturdays. Uh, before we get started, let's go over our rules. Rule number one, always make sure you have an adult who knows what you're doing or is there to help you. Rule number two, never put anything in your mouth unless told to do so. Rule number three, make sure you always know where your safety equipment are, like goggles and gloves. And rule number four, make sure you follow the instructions presented as closely as possibly. So hopefully you're watching this video in the spookiest all months, October, because I have another spooky science video for you today. So today we are going to be making dancing ghosts or ghost stream. Um, things you will need are to do what I'm doing today. You need a balloon, a piece of wool, some tissue paper, some scissors, and a little, a little ghost shape. Um, while doing research for this, you could also use a piece of PVC pipe, but that has not worked out well for me. You can also use a piece of foam, like insulation, foam construction insulation, but also that has not worked well for me. So first you will need to make your ghost. So I made a little cutout and I just traced my cut out on my piece of paper and then cut it out with scissors. If you notice over here, sorry, I have my little ghost shapes all cut out already. And I've taped them to my table. So the next thing you will need to do is take your wool. I forgot the name of it for a second. Take your wool, take your blown up balloon and rub it for a good 20 seconds. You will start to feel the hair on your arm, if you have hairy arms, start to feel weird and kind of tickle, and that's how you know you have a good, strong charge. So once you've developed a good, strong charge, you can take your balloon and get it close to your ghost and have a little ghost dance party. Ooh, oh my ghost fell down. Come on. Oh, I think I need a stronger charge, you guys. Hold on. Let's get a stronger charge. I'm gonna open up my wall. Get some more surface area. Rub that balloon. And let's see. See if my ghost can come. Yeah, there we go. Have a little ghost dance party. Ghost ready. All right, so. What did not work for me, and I will show you, is the PVC pipe. The PVC pipe kind of hurts when you rub it with the wool for like 20 seconds. It starts to kind of shock you, and I don't recommend it. So, and it's not as strong as the balloon. It works better on the tinsel, and you can wiggle that around. Ooh. Oh, see, it's just not as strong. See, and I've already lost all the charge. A third option is this styrofoam over here. The experiment asked me to build this crazy contraption out of a pie tin, a styrofoam plate, and I'm supposed to charge this with the foam and then charge my tinsel, and it's supposed to float above it, but I have never gotten it to work. But we will try it. When you are rubbing on the styrofoam, it doesn't shock you like the PVC pipe did, but it kind of gets uncomfortably warm. So just rub that for about 20 seconds or until it's a little bit too warm for you to want to touch it anymore. And then you will put your pie tin on here to charge it. Rumor has it, if you also charge your tinsel with the with the wool. So your foam has a negative charge, your tinsel supposedly has a negative charge, and then you're supposed to be able to float them above each other. But it has never worked for me, not even one time. So why is this supposed to work? It's because when you rub the balloon or the foam or the PVC pipe, with the wool, it gives it a negative charge. And most things have a positive charge. So a positive charge and a negative charge will be attracted to each other. That's why our ghost 
stood up to try and touch the balloons. If I had been able to successfully give the tinsel a negative charge and the foam a negative charge, they would have repelled each other and it would have floated just above it. But that was a fail and I couldn't get it to work. Let me know if you get it to work and I'll see you next time on Steam Saturdays.